some thoughts on Mary on this Good Friday. Mary, the mother of our Lord. Mary, a mother whose life had been both extraordinary and ordinary. Extraordinary in the manner of her pregnancy and the birth of her firstborn. Ordinary in her life as a Jewish first century mother and wife of a carpenter. Looking after the children that came after, collecting water from the well, talking with other women. Watching in wonderment as her firstborn grew into the man who took their world by storm. A reading from the Gospel of Luke. And the child's father and mother were amazed at what was being said about him. Then Simeon blessed them and said to his mother Mary, This child is destined for the falling and the rising of many in Israel, and to be a sign that will be opposed, so that the inner thoughts of many will be revealed and a sword will pierce your own soul too. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now, and at the hour of our death. Amen. A reading from the Gospel of John. Meanwhile, standing near the cross of Jesus, were his mother and his mother's sister, Mary, the wife of Clopas, and Mary Magdalene. When Jesus saw his mother and the disciple, whom he loved standing beside her, he said to his mother, Woman, here is your son. Then he said to the disciple, Here is your mother. And from that hour, the disciple took her into his own home. Every day there are mothers all over the world who have to watch and wait as their children die through the violence of others, through violence to themselves, through illness, disease and accident. Maybe we know a family who has thus suffered. There are mothers all over the world during these extraordinary times who have lost their children to COVID-19. We pray for them now and for all families who have been devastated in the last weeks and months. We are healed by the blows Christ received. By his wounds, we have been healed. Almighty Father, look with mercy on this, your family, for which our Lord Jesus Christ was content to be betrayed and given up into the hands of wicked men and to suffer death upon the cross, who is alive and glorified with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen.